Spider Silk presented by Victoria Green. Synthesis. Spider silk is a fibrous biomaterial that consists of almost entirely of large proteins such as amino acid chains. The two primary proteins which make up the amino acid chains are glycine and alanine. These proteins are used in a repetitive sequence that accounts for more than 90% of the silk. This slide shows the chemical formula or chemical structure of spider silk and it represents the three main proteins that make up the amino acid chain. Material properties. Primary bonding. Covalent bonds connect the crystalline and non-crystalline structures. Secondary bonding. Hydrogen bonds are the main source of strength. Amino acid sequences result in the toughest silk. Melting temperature. Spider silk resists heat very well and will not melt but does char at any temperature above 160 degrees Celsius. Mechanical properties. The estimated ultimate strength of the silk is between 200 and 300 megapascal. The tensile strength of the spider silk ranges from 0.45 to 2 gigapascal. Silk is five times stronger than steel and twice as strong as Kevlar when tested at the same weight. The toughness of spider silk is measured at 9 megajoules per meters cubed. By using breaking energy per mass, the density can be calculated at 1.097 grams per centimeters cubed. The targeted, targeted cost of silk is $10 to $15 per kilogram and the spider silk can be stretched over 30% of its original length. These two figures represent phase diagrams. The figure on the left of the screen is a phase diagram of the spider, and the second figure on the right represents a phase diagram of the spider silk. Structure. The primary structure of spider silk primarily consists of proteins with large quantities of nonpolar and hydrophobic amino acid chains. In comparison to cellular enzymes, silk proteins exhibit aberrant amino acid composition. The proteins contain highly repetitive amino acid sequences in their large domains, showing specific hydrophobicity pattern with alternating hydrophilic and hydrophobic blocks. Such composition is a crucial phase for the separation during the spider's spinning process. After secretion from the silk glands, silk proteins are an, are an aqueous solution. They then pass through the spinning duct and have a final interaction to form into silk threads or spidrones. Spidrones are proteins that form the majority of the spider's silk fibers and are made up of the large repetitive proteins. These repetitive sequences build the toughness and strength of the fibers. Production. The production of spider silk is performed with unfolded proteins at extremely high temperatures. The phase of separation is a process of unfolding the proteins to maintain the protein's high silk concentration. By using an entire coil structure in the gland, the silk protein is rapidly assembled upon passage through the spinning duct. This process causes the silk structure to become water insoluble. In the spinning duct, the silk is assembled by aligning and packaging the individual silk proteins in a laminar flow. The final process is the spidrone and the creation of a web by the spider. Recycling. Spiders tend to create their webs in the morning and throughout the day will perform repairs to the webs. This is then followed by the possible or most likely destruction and consumption of the web silk at the end of the day. This habit is performed in order for spiders to take the moisture from the dew off of the web so larger animals cannot see the web. The old strands of silk fibers go through the digestive system of the spiders and are remade into silk glands as they once were to create a new web. Health and safety. 
The topic of spider silk has been researched upon to figure out how it can be used to benefit the medical field. By research decoding and the production of spider silk in the laboratory, researchers have found the ability to produce samples of spider silk. The synthetic fibrous proteins were created by genetically modifying bacteria to make the proteins produced by spiders. They were then able to clone the process of spinning to create a simulation to understand the silk production of spiders at, a, at the molecular level. This new development can lead to the creations of new biomaterials such as scaffoldings for new organ replacements and new fibers with improved characteristics. Spider silk has the ability to be used as scaffoldings and new fibers because it has been proven to not cause inflammation or allergic reactions to the body. The silk is antimicrobial, hypoallergenic, and completely biodegradable, thus allowing for no harm onto the body. Environmental Impacts with spider silk being an incredibly strong material, scientists are looking at ways to incorporate the silk into armor. It is known that the bulletproof vests and other protection equipment of the soldiers are heavy and bulky and can cause difficulty during operations. The solution to this problem is creating a spider silk vest that can stop a bullet while being lightweight. It has been found that spider silk can be formed into a mesh that can stop a bullet as well as being known that the material can absorb quite a bit of energy. But the only problem to that solution is the issue of mass production of the silk in order to manufacture the test and test prototypes on their safety and resilience. Even while using millions of spiders, it takes multiple years in order to make a decent sized sample of cloth. Other applications that can be made by spider silk are sailing cloth, parachute fabric, hot air balloon material, and bike helmets. Economic failures. The topic of mass production has been previously touched on when cloning identical spider silk strands, but there is another topic of mass production of spiders. Large-scale harvesting of spiders by farming is not easily accomplished. Spiders are territorial and have cannibalistic behaviors which in end cause more trouble when trying to farm spiders because the spiders would have to be separated individually, thus causing a higher cost and the reason for further research to identify silk cloning. Ways of manufacturing enough silk is not the only economic issue. The cost to do so is also a factor. The global market demand for technical fibers is rapidly growing because of the essential usage of the products for industrial and consumer use. The cost of production has increased from $133 billion in 2012 to $160 billion in 2018 and will continue to increase until spider silk can be mass produced in a smaller amount of time. History The first large scale weaving with spider silk was done in the late 1800s. Jacob Paul Cambu, along with a colleague, M. Newig, designed and built a device that could extract the silk from 25 spiders at once without harming them. In Paris in the 1900s, they created a set of bed hangings that were woven from the silk, but the fabric was deemed too labor intensive. In 2012, a study done by researchers exposed a gram positive and gram negative bacterium to silk. Currently, researchers are working on cloning the spider spinning process to create synthetic fibers for the silk. These last couple slides are all my references used to find all of this information.